it is getting a little more difficult. And when we play, what, you know, really large venues, it's going to be next to impossible to do that. But now, we have, sorry, we still have our website and the internet, which is um, a great way of being able to communicate with fans. Right, right, right. And I think, as I say, the websites have also been an integral part in people getting to know who Marcy Playground are. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. That's the thing that. I mean, it's very. It's a very powerful tool. Yeah, absolutely. But now, very. you you've actually achieved your personal goal, from what I'm led to believe. So, so what's actually left for you to do now that you've sold your 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 ten ten thousand albums, you know, times five thousand already? Yeah, that's true. Um, I think my main goal now is to is to make another record. Well, it's to keep touring, first of all, and to play in front of more people. Yeah. But uh, after we're done touring, um, hopefully by the next, by the end of this year, we'll get an opportunity to make another record. Mm, yeah, yeah. And, and with, with with that in mind, do, would you would you anticipate a, a similar a similar album, or would you want to do something? Say a little different that uh, you know you may have picked up in the last three. Well, I would say a similar. Well, we're going to do a similar album when it comes to the material, when it comes to the songs. But we're better players these three years playing together. Um, uh, I think the performance on on the next record will be a lot better. We're going to, you know, that's what I, my goal is to try and capture a really nice performance. Now, if if you sort of had to sum up the album. Um, that's out now. Um, how would you sort of best sort of sum it up in your own words? Um, I would say it's 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 like an acoustic folk record, but with electric instruments. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And um, to say, interesting to me when when I actually heard the album, a friend of mine had actually come back from the states with it um, just over Christmas, and. Um, there's obviously a lot of influences that, that influence the band, but um, you know, if, if you sort of have to sort of look at it, was it the your musical influences that, that influenced the direction that the music took, or was it sort of the personalities in the band um, that actually created the sound that you, you have now with the album? Oh, well, the sound of the record was, I mean, I produced it, so um, it was something that I wanted to hear. Um, the songs... Uh, no, I mean it was it was all pretty much defined that way. That's the way I wanted it to sound. And I wrote this I wrote those songs um, probably a year before we recorded it, and um, or in the year before we recorded, it, I should say, because some of them were written you know a year before, some of them were written a month before we recorded. But um, <clears throat> for the for the most part, that's pretty much what I wanted it to sound like. I'm still happy with the sound of it. That's another thing that's really important to me is that our record have a sound. I, I like that when a record has its own unique, definable sound to it. I picked a studio in New York that I felt could um, help to represent the sound that I was looking for, which was a which was a natural sound, not very highly polished or produced. Um, I didn't want to refine it to death. So, um, right, and when when you actually look at the album. Um, sort of as a as a as a whole now being out. I mean, it's it's been out for a year, um, and it's starting to break now. Does does that mean that you expect to sort of see? Um, well, I mean, that this album will be around for quite some time now that it's although it's already been out for a year. I hope so. I mean, what do you mean? Do you mean um, or is more singles being released from the record? Yeah, because I mean, the interesting thing is that Sex and Candy, the official. A uh, single release date is the 24th of March this year, which is ironic, I think. You know, yeah. which is it's great. But as I say, what, what it means to me is that um, obviously that being the the first single, um, the album as a whole, as much as you want to go out and do a, a new album, uh, you know, we'll record a new album. Uh, this album is certainly still has uh, got quite a bit of life in it. Yeah, it's true. It hasn't run its course yet. Um, uh, yeah, I, I don't know. You know, I, I know. And the other thing is, is that the single won't go away. No. <laughs> Die. Yeah. Yeah. And for 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 you know so long now. Um, like you said, you know, thirteen weeks number one, but it's you know it's like twenty three weeks or twenty four weeks or something like that on the charts. Yes. So it's it's been around for a long time already. Yeah. Um, I'm just 
and I'm waiting for the, the second single. Yeah. You know, I can, I, you know, it's like, I want to, I want to make a record, but you can't until this, this, you know, it's just, there's a natural course sure. to the life of an album. Sure. And I mean, it's, it is actually quite amazing as, as you, I mean, I'm sure as, as you must sit back every week and go, but come on now, there has to be a ceiling on this that it actually starts, it has to start sort of subsiding for, for sex and candy anyway. Yeah, exactly. And so far, <laughs> that hasn't happened. We're still something like 300 spins ahead of number two. It's insane. It's great, though, but it's insane. <laughs> um, Mark, if I could um, ask you just two quick favors. Um, if you could perhaps just do two IDs for me, would that be okay? Sure. Great. Okay, the first one is uh, for the show that this uh, uh, interview will go out on. Um, a very cliched name, I'm afraid. It's called The Cutting Edge. Um, as I said, my name is Jason, so you can play with it um, as you will whenever you're ready. Just The Cutting Edge? Yep. Okay. Um, hello, this is John Wozniak from Mercy Playground. You'll see Jason Curtis on The Cutting Edge. Superb, thanks very much. And so the last one um, is... Uh, also, uh, for a, a show on the, on the college station that this is going to go out on, um, the name of the, uh, the, the guy is Marcus, and uh, the, the name of the station is Radio Tux. It's T-U-K-S. Tux? That's right, yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Hi, this is John Wozniak from RC Playground, and you'll see to Marcus on Radio Tux. Thanks very much. I do appreciate it. But um, Mark, as I say, congratulations. Rather, John, rather, calling everyone Marcus and John. I, I have a problem with Marcus as well. I keep on calling him Tim. But that's another story altogether. <laughs> but um, John, um, you know, congratulations. I'm sure you're probably going to hear it, you know, 20,000 times more um, in the next couple of months, especially with the international press. But uh, it's a phenomenal album. And uh, as I say, all the very, very, very best with it. Thanks, Jason. Come to South Africa. Thank you. You take care now. Okay, you too. Bye. Bye.